Hare Krishna everybody, this is Radhanand Das and today we are going to talk about why the days of the week are listed in an, in the order they are actually listed. So basically the question might come up that you know we have the order of days in this particular format that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But why are they in this particular order and not any other order? So uh, there, there might be different ideas, you know, even if you try to relate it to the uh, order of planets in terms of their distances from the Earth, you see that they don't tie up. For instance, the first day is Sunday. And uh, next is Monday. Sun corresponds to Sun, obviously, and then Monday corresponds to Moon. But we see that Moon is much closer to Earth than Sun. On the other end of the spectrum, uh, we have Jupiter, um, sorry, Ju sorry, Jupiter corresponds to Thursday. So we have Thursday first, followed by Friday, and Friday corresponds to Venus. But if you look at the orbital distances, then Venus is much closer to Earth than Jupiter, which is further away. Um, so considering this, it makes no sense that, you know, Venus, or which corresponds to Friday, Friday comes after Thursday, um, so obviously the order of the planets is not related to the distances of those orbits, corresponding orbits from the Earth. And then what is it related to? So we'll try to understand this based on Sastras. So Surya Siddhanta uh, is a great astronomical text. It is accepted as a bona fide scripture when it comes to astronomy. So let's see what Surya Siddhanta has to say. So the logic, uh, as per Surya Siddhanta, that is described, is that every fourth of the planets, in the order of their orbits, mentioned starting with Saturn, in succession, would determine the order of the planets. So uh, this is from Surya Siddhanta 1278. What it is essentially saying is that if, if you look at the order of the orbits, which are again described in a different chapter, uh, sorry, the same chapter, 12th chapter, but different verses, verses 30 and 31. Uh, they describe in what order the orbits are. And that order is uh, mentioned over here. So the farthest away is Saturn, uh, followed by Jupiter, then Mars, then Sun, then Venus, Mercury, and Moon. So Moon being the closest and Saturn being the farthest. So when you take this order, and you start with the farthest planet, which is Saturn, and then you keep working towards, uh, 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 in the descending order, you keep working towards the planets which are closer to us. And you take the fourth planet in that order, then what the, the fourth planet that you determine would be the first day of the week, and then you keep continuing that logic uh, in succession, to determine the subsequent order of the days in the week. So let's actually calculate it. So this is when you actually read a verse, unless you, uh, you know, chart it out and follow the logic, you won't be able to really understand. So let's try to do that this practically. So let's take uh, uh, the first day of the week, which is Sunday. Let's see how that is determined. So as the verse uh, from Surya Siddhanta say, that we will start uh, the order of counting from Saturn. So I have listed all the planets on the first column, starting with Saturn, which is the furthest away, going down to the moon, which is closest to the Earth. Uh, so this order is based on, obviously, the distance from the Earth, and the this order also corresponds to um, the modern scientific calculation. Uh, so there's no contradiction in that regard. So let's see, the first planet is Saturn. So we, we, we want to keep working down. The second is Jupiter. Third is Mars. And the fourth is Sun. So uh, since the fourth planet is the Sun, the corresponding day for Sun is Sunday. And Sunday becomes the first day of the week. So moving on to the next day, which is Monday. So let's see how we can determine Monday. Now we will start at, at the position that we stopped. 
on the previous slide. So where did we stop? We stopped uh, at the sun planet, you know, it's for Sunday. So the first position now would be corresponding to the sun because that's where we stopped. And then the second position would be Venus and working further down, third position would be Mercury and the fourth position would be Moon. And so taking the fourth position and the corresponding day, we get Monday. So this is how Monday is uh, is the second day of the week. OK. What comes up from Monday? Tuesday. So now we'll follow the same logic, but we'll start at the position that we stopped on the previous slide. So where did we stop? We stopped at the moon because we were calculating how the order of Monday is determined. So now the moon becomes the first position. And now actually we, we start all over again, right? So there is no further to go below moon. So then the second position again starts from Saturn. Now Saturn becomes second. The third position is that of Jupiter. And the fourth position is that of Mars. And Mars, as we know, uh, is Mangal, corresponds to Mangalwar or Tuesday. And that's how uh, the next day of the week in sequence is Tuesday. So moving on to Wednesday. Uh, again, we'll start from the last position that we stopped. So the last position that we stopped for Tuesday was Mars, so which becomes the first position now. Uh, then Sun becomes the second position. Venus becomes the third position. And Mercury becomes the fourth position. And Mercury, as we know, uh, corresponds to Budh, Budhwar, or Wednesday. And that's how the next or uh, next day in the uh, order of days of week is Wednesday. OK, let's continue counting. Moving on to Thursday. So we'll again follow the same logic and start from uh, the last position, which was corresponding to Wednesday. That's Mercury. So Mercury becomes the first position. Moon becomes the second. Saturn becomes the third. And Jupiter becomes the fourth position. And Jupiter, as we know, it corresponds to Guru. Uh, which is Guruvar, and the corresponding day is known as Thursday. So this is uh, how the uh, next day of the week is determined, which is Thursday. And following uh, the same logic, we'll see how Friday is calculated. So again, we start from the last position that we ended, which was for Thursday, that is Jupiter. Uh, this becomes the first position now. Mars becomes the second position. Sun becomes the third position. And Venus becomes the fourth position. Venus corresponds to Sukra. Corresponding day would be Sukravar or Friday. Uh, moving on, continuing the same logic, Saturday calculation would begin in the last position that we stopped for Sukravar or Friday, which is Venus, which would now become the first position. The second position would then be Mercury. And then third position would be Moon. And the fourth position would be Saturn and Saturn corresponds to Saturday. So this is how the days of the week are calculated. So based on this, you know, we can confirm uh, that the scriptural injunctions uh, in all areas uh, of uh, knowledge, we can have full faith in them. And uh, it's just a matter of uh, us realizing it. And so Surya Siddhanta is a bona fide text as far as astronomy is concerned. And uh, there are there's so much in it that uh, you know we could take time to study and imbibe and then appreciate the in-depth knowledge that is contained in our scriptures. And this is how we can begin to appreciate uh, what uh, uh, heritage that we have and we can enrich our life. Uh, utilizing uh, this invaluable knowledge. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.